you how you can easily darken skin tone when it comes to Photoshop. And in this video, you're going to be learning how you can change light skin to dark skin when it comes to Photoshop. I don't know if at all this is going to be applicable in your photographic area, but I think at one point in time, you're going to be needing to do this in Photoshop. So you can see the before and after, before, after. So I want to show you how you can easily darken skin in just Photoshop. And if I told you find the video helpful, simply like the video and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. If I told you have been watching or if I told you are watching and you're not a subscriber to this channel. So I'll simply come and I delete this so that you can understand and learn everything from the very start to the very end. So the very first step to darkening skin tone is understanding what colors belong or fall or lie within the skin tones. And you can see in the skin, we usually have reds, yellows, and some oranges for some people. And after understand, understanding that, we are going to come to the adjustments and simply come to selective color. So you can see in selective color, when you click on the drop down, we have reds and yellows. And this is basically what we want. We are simply going to first of all come to our reds and for the reds are simply going to come and take or add some cyans to around negative six and after doing that we're going to come to where you see magentas and take the magenta slider to around 11. so what this is going to do it is going to add more reds to the skin tone so after doing that you're going to come and create the next adjustment layer which is the black and white so just come and create a black and white adjustment layer but you can see this is going to be applying a black and white filter over the whole image so you can see we have preset just come the preset and simply come to high contrast blue filter and activate it and that is going to darken the image but this is going to remain in black and white so just come to the blend mode change it from normal remember the multiply blend mode is going to darken the image so after darkening the image you are going to come the opacity and simply reduce on the opacity to around negative 58 and you can see that is also going to add some darkening to the skin so after we have done that we are going to create a hue and saturation adjustment layers so just come and create hue and saturation and in the hue and saturation adjustment layer remember we are dealing more with the reds and the yellows so we are going to come and click on master and first of all target the reds so with the red selected we are going to come to the lightness and darken the reds in the image and this is going to reduce on the amount of oranges within the skin so we're going to leave it around negative 36 and by just doing that you can see we have eliminated the oranges from the skin tone so we're also going to come to the yellows and remember dark skin tone has less orange yellows rather so we're going to do the same for the lightness to around negative 25 and we're also going to come the saturation remember saturation is the intensity of a given color so we are going to come to saturation and reduce on the saturation of the yellows to around negative 14 is okay then you're also going to come and create another black and white adjustment layer so just come to adjustments and create a black and white adjustment layer this time around we are going to leave the preset to the default and leave or change the blend mode to multiply and simply reduce on the darkening effect by taking down the opacity so I'll just leave this to around 27 you can see before after so if at all you're comfortable and this is the kind of skin tone that you want you can stop at this point but to make the skin tone have more contrast we are simply going to create a stamp visible layer so to create a stamp visible layer when it comes to photoshop we are simply going to press shift option command e on the keyboard that is for Mac, then for Windows, this shift, alternate, control E on the keyboard. So that is going to create a merge layer for everything that we have been doing below here. So create that merge layer by pressing 
shift option command e on the keyboard to create this stamp visible layer and after creating it you can see it is basically a merged layer for everything that we have below here so we're going to come to filter and come to camera row filter so when you come to camera row we are simply going to go straight to our color mixer panel or tool so in the color mixer we have hue saturation and luminous hue is changing a given color you can change the oranges to whatever tone that you want then saturation is the intensity of a given color you can increase on the intensity of the oranges or reduce on the intensity of the oranges luminous is the brightness or darkness of a given color you can darken the oranges or you can brighten the oranges so in this we just want to add more contrast to the image so we are first of all going to come to the hues and make or add a little bit of reds to the skin by making the oranges more towards the reds then we are going to come to our saturation and slightly reduce on the saturation of the oranges to around negative eight and come to luminous and darken or reduce on the intensity or darken the oranges within the skin so negative 38 is okay you can see the before after before after now the skin is dark to where we need it click ok and lastly we are basically going to add one final adjustment layer which is a cooling effect to the skin tone so we're going to come to the adjustments and come to where you see a uh, photo filter so when you come to photo filter this is what you have to do just come to where you see the filter options and make sure you target or you select any cooling filter for this we're just going to be using cooling filter 82 but any cooling filter can do make sure preserve luminosity is checked and right now the image looks too blue so just come to the density and reduce on the density of the effect so we're just going to go with around three so you can see the before after before after it has added it has added a little bit of cooling to the skin tone and right now the skin looks dark enough to whatever we need it to be so i'm just going to press shift on the key and press or select the lowermost layer press ctrl g or you can use command g on the keyboard and you can see the before after before after now that the skin has been darkened to our liking so if at all you feel like the effect is too much and you don't need to do all that just come and reduce on the opacity to reveal more of the tones within the skin so i feel like 92 is okay so we we have done all this so if at all you feel like you want to reveal some specific areas in the image like the cloth if at all it has changed color create a layer mask by clicking on the layer mask icon and come and get the normal brush tool make sure the hardness set to zero soft round brush is selected the mode is normal opacity at 100 percent flat 100 percent and make sure you have black and white on these two color swatches or you can reset if at all you have any other random colors by pressing d on the keyboard or left click on the tiny swatches so after you have done that simply get the brush tool and with black as the foreground color you can erase color grading for example from the outfit just like that so take your time as you're painting and if at all you make a mistake while painting you can always correct that by switching the brush back to white and white is going to correct that mistake so this is how you can easily darken skin tone or skin color or how you can change light skin to dark skin when it comes to photoshop and if at all you have enjoyed this video don't forget to like the video and don't forget to subscribe if at all you have been watching and you are not a subscriber to this channel ronix from ronix photography thank you for watching i see you more videos on this channel don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating.